Well, I've tidied my boat up for Doreen to come. What do you think of the boat, Doreen? Is it tidy enough for you, darling? Yes. Hey. Hot during the day. That's okay because we go to a beach, so yeah. it's all good. Alright then. Okay. What do you think of Cairns? Cairns is great. Cairns is gorgeous. Recommend it to anyone. We're heading to Fort Douglas. This is just one of the nice beaches along the way. taking Doreen to the tin shed at Fort Douglas. looks like to me. I've got a junk coming past now. Shogun. Here's Doreen. She wants to stay here a bit longer so she's ordered herself an iced chocolate. Very nice. <laughs> Good. Lovely and cool. And I've got myself a coffee. Well, we had a lovely meal at uh, the tin shed and now we're going to go for a walk on the beach. Just turned off on a road there and we found this place. Car's in the shade. Green's fully sunscreen. This is looking south along the beach towards Cairns. And looking north. There's a kite surfer and a windsurfer down there. We're going to walk down there. That'll do us for the day, for the walk. We're just about to walk around this lake, Lake Boreen. I'm going to walk around Boreen Dam, which is uh, five kilometers. And the first thing we've come to is some ca giant cowries, I think they are. 45 meters tall these trees are. These are the twins. Come. 
This is a big sprangular fig. Had our tea and scones, and now we're heading back down to uh, Marlin Marina. We're walking into Cairns at the moment. This is like a Grand Arbor through here on there's a walkway, and uh, it's, it's got lovely lights and uh, strangler figs, and basically over to, towards here. And spin round a bit, Doreen. Is the uh, pool, which we'll uh, have a look at now. Cairns Lagoon. Great swimming for the kids here and grown ups. Obviously, it's closed now, it's at night. We're coming to the end of the holiday here in the marina. It's costing me actually. Uh, $45 a day. The only trouble we've been in the marina is uh, is in the morning you can get diesel fumes. This is where the diesel fumes come from. It's all these boats, catamarans out here. You know, got 800 horsepower engines in them. They all have to warm their engines up for about three quarters of an hour before they uh, go out. So they're all just idling. So in the morning, you know, you've got to close your hatches up and uh, live in your boat. Friday and I'm leaving the marina today. So I've got everything ready, packed, all wa water's on, diesel's on. I've filled everything up, filled my fridge up for what I need for now. Right, I'm just about to set off. So the first thing I can do before I uh, release my uh, springs is to make sure that the engine uh, has got forward and reverse. Just going to check that my engine's got forward and reverse, so I'll go for reverse first. Yeah, it's got reverse. I'm going to put it in forward now. Yep, yeah, it's got forward. You can see that the bow's kind of pushed in towards the uh, jetty. When I release the uh, thing you'll see the, the bow move off. I'll put it in reverse and you'll see the bow move a bit. Right well I'm gonna get ready to cast the lines off now.
goodbye to the marina. Gonna head up river a bit, I hope, and find somewhere to anchor. It's gonna blow, it's blowing pretty hard today, about 25 knots, I think. But I gotta leave the marina. Stop the money going out. Anchored uh, up the river a bit from the marina. In about eight meters of water. The sun's just about to set over the table lands. <laughs> 